facial recognition is cropping up everywhere. From shopping centers to schools, it's likely something is scanning your face somewhere at some point in time when you're out and about. But rather than kill your privacy, facial recognition on smartphones is supposed to protect your digital life. We decided to test that theory by looking at the security of various Android and iPhone facial recognition systems. And we did this with a 3D printed head, seeing which phones would open when being presented with the fake. The first stop was Backface in Birmingham, UK. It's a small company founded by Tim Millwood that makes 3D printed models for all manner of customers, from filmmakers to government suppliers. Tim, can you tell us what, what we're actually <laughs> looking at? Well, this is our 3D scanning rig. Um, it consists of 96 DSLR cameras, which all fire at the same time, and that captures all the data that we can then use to produce a 3D scan. So we're gonna, we're gonna pop you in here, we're gonna process all that data, and then we'll produce a 3D printed head. Backface then constructs the model with a 3D printer that builds up layers of powdered British gypsum. Then some final colorings are added and the life-size head is ready within a few days, all for just over 300 quid. For our tests, I used my own real-life head to register for facial recognition systems across five phones. An iPhone 10, an LG G7 Link, a Samsung S9, a Samsung Note 8, and a OnePlus 6. We would then see whether the devices would let us in with the fake head. Okay, so this is the OnePlus 6, pretty much opens as soon as you put your face to it. So that's open straight away. Try it with the face. Open straight away. It's the worst. <laughs> so this is the Samsung S9 with a bright white light, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So if I test it my own face now. Okay, I unlock that time. We try it with the head. It won't open there, won't open there. But if you find the right angle, it opens. For the Samsung phones, as with the LG device, it was possible to choose between either faster facial recognition or standard. The faster the recognition, the less secure. All right, this is the Samsung Note 8. This is actually not bad. Okay, so we turn faster recognition on. It recognises my face, so faster recognition is just the weaker version of facial recognition. Let's see if the face works. Okay, so yeah, faster recognition on that one, at the right angle, opens it up. Okay, so we're now going to test on a softer, warmer light, because um, we think that it's going to work a little bit better. But now we're going to try it with the slightly harder facial recognition. It's a slower version of facial recognition, so it should be more secure. Um, we'll try it with my normal face. Unlocks fairly quickly. So when I try it with the, the fake head. And that's unlocked. So with the softer light, for some reason, the head seems to work even on the strongest facial recognition setting there. The LG device was, for the most part, impenetrable. Though in the right light and on a lower security setting, it was possible to break in on occasion. As for the iPhone, the fake couldn't find a way in. Apple's heavy investment in the security of Face ID really does seem to have paid off here. I think if you have genuine concern about the possibility of somebody spoofing your biometric and unlocking your phone, I would say focus on the, uh, the secret aspect, which is the PIN or the password. Um, because the reality with any biometrics is that uh, they can be copied. I guess anybody with enough time, resource, investment uh, and objective will, will invest that time and resource to maybe you know, try and uh, spoof some of these biometrics. So the, you know, the, the best way to keep your data secure will be through the secrets which only you will keep in your head.